How's it going, you sexy beast? It's been a while since I talked about my collection of best light machine guns for the heavy assault in Planet Side 2, and I think it's time to talk about the best assault rifles for the combat medic. First and foremost, this entire video is heavily opinionated. There are no statistically superior weaponry for each faction, and each player has their own favorite weapon of choice. I've chosen these three rifles due to their adaptability, the same concept I picked out of my top three light machine guns. These rifles offer a perfect blend of strengths between the short to medium range engagements, which is the majority of infantry combat in Planet Side 2. They're jacks of all trades, but are masters of none. Starting off with the best faction is the Terran Republic and their T1 Cycler. As stated previously, this assault rifle has quickly become my favorite weapon in the entire game. It has a 143 damage model, much alike most other Terran Republic weapons, but has a very tasty 750 round per minute rate of fire. Coupled with its 40 round magazine, average recoil of 0.27 degrees per shot, and its price tag of totally free since it's a starter weapon means you can't really pass it up. Indeed, there are other weapons available that fit different roles better, but it's the lack of any particular niche that makes the T1 Cycler my favorite rifle. I can pick it up and move into any ranged firefight and still be effective. Not to mention, the firing sound of this rifle is absolutely delicious to the ears and accentuates the overall beefiness of the Cycler. Next up is the Vonner Sovereignty and their laser beam of death the Pulsar VS-1. Another starter weapon, the Pulsar has a slightly lower rate of fire compared to the Terran Republic Cycler, but has a slightly faster bullet velocity and not to mention, a much quicker reload speed. The rate of fire is a very comfortable 698 rounds per minute, which meshes well with its overall low vertical recoil of 0.22 degrees per shot. Having a 1.75 second reload speed of 30 round magazine means you'll always be ready to take down a hostile if you're caught with your pants down. Even so, the model itself, the Pulsar, is quite sleek and comes with an angular, bulky look about it, which gives it a professional feel while also being quite intimidating to your enemies. Like the T1 Cycler, since this starter weapon is given auto-magically, it is absolutely free. Lastly, we're on to the new conglomerate. The starter rifle, or the Gauss rifle, is a very potent weapon of death at any range engagement, but there's one weapon I feel, feel fills the all-arounder role much better with a slight preference to shorter ranges. What I'm talking about is the Carnage Assault Rifle. It may not be as fast firing as the GR-22, but the Carnage blends together fire rate, damage, and controllability, which makes it a weapon platform that just can't be passed up. It fires at 750 rounds per minute, has a typical 30 round magazine, short reload speed of 2.3 seconds, and a medium vertical recoil of 0.247 degrees per shot. The Carnage has become my favorite assault rifle for the new conglomerate as you're able to plink at enemies at medium ranges with ease while still being able to blow away the competition in closer range engagements. The Carnage AR has a certification cost of 250 certs. Now that you actually know what I think the best assault rifles are, what attachments should we run? Well, it's pretty simple since there's not a lot that we can actually choose from. Optics are typically all about preference, but there's one clear-cut winner for me, the 2 times reflex. This further complements the role these weapons fill as it gives a slight magnification while aiming down sights for medium ranges, while still retaining your peripheral vision for acquiring targets that may flank you in close quarters. For the rail slot, roll with a forward grip. As with the reflex sight, this helps cut down the uncontrollable horizontal recoil to give us a steadier firing platform for medium ranges. Lastly, barrel attachments. If you're short on certs, you can just skip this slot entirely as it won't really affect your weapon's performance too badly. But suppressors are a good choice as they keep you off the minimap while firing. The disadvantage is it slows down your muzzle velocity which will make you have to lead your shots against enemies moving per perpendicular to you even at 5 meters or so. So I'd actually recommend running with the flash hider instead. There's no disadvantage to using it and it will make tracking targets in low light environments much easier since you won't be seeing a big muzzle flash in your face every time you fire a bullet. These attachments will set you back 230 certification points total. So there you have it you sexy beast, the best assault rifles in Planet Side 2. The T1 Cycler for the TR, the Pulsar VS-1 for the Vanu Sovereignty, and the Carnage AR for the New Glamour. What is your favorite assault rifle? Do you prefer a weapon that fills one particular role but doesn't do well in any other? Or do you agree with this list and love to kick ass with the Cycler? Let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big ass thumbs up. 
Make sure to read the description to get more in-depth statistics on these weapons, as well as clicking the links to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Also, consider becoming a certified badass through my Patreon campaign. Thank you all so very much for watching, and if you would like to see more videos like these, then go ahead and click that sexy ass subscribe button. It's 101% for reasons.